jacket. Oh, that is hot. Um, wow, yes. Uh, uh, um, thank you very much, um, especially to uh, Neil Pepe at the Atlantic, Carol Rothman at Second Stage, um, and uh, my family is, was on the stage both uh, in the summer and again in the winter. Um, Ray Anthony Thomas, who's here, who originated the uh, He's one of the first people, he's the first real actor I met in New York, and, uh, and, I, and I idolize him, he's Marsha DeBonis' uh, boyfriend, and still is, but, oh my god, wow, congratulations. Um, okay, I, 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 uh, I just want to say it's uh, the honor to receive this isn't, I don't think, commensurate with how I'm speaking right now. Uh, but uh, but it's, uh, I, I try to block these feelings. So uh, that's why I'm a little detached. But it's, uh, it's really a, a tremendous honor. And I think that if you're lucky to, to, to have a career and be in this business that we're in, you know, you occasionally at some point start to get some acknowledgments and you get some awards, and it's always an honor, obviously. Um, and you always get up there and say, you know, wow, what an honor. Um, but if you really break it apart sometime, like if, say, you win, like, you know, the Emily Hirschman Society Prize, and you get up and you're like, this is such an honor, but you're kind of like, who the hell, who's Emily Hirschman? Really? But. Everybody knows who the New York Drama Critics Circle is. <laughs> Everybody knows you guys, and uh, and uh, so on the one hand, it's a big honor, and and, and it is. Um, and then on the other hand, I don't know if, unless you're the writer, you probably don't notice that they released the ballots, <laughs> how the voting went. <laughs> So it's kind of the best of both worlds. Because on the one hand, you got this honor, and you put this on a frame, and no one can take it away from you, and your grandmother, and everyone will be proud. On the other hand, you know, like, half of the people, I didn't vote for them. You know, like, I don't know how to sweep by. Not my cup of tea. Uh, so it's the best of both worlds, because the truth is, there's people who say, fuck critics. There's people who say, I don't read, you know, the critics. I, I read the critics, not when I'm acting, but when I'm writing, and I find that uh, I've learned, this is not a setup for a joke, I, I've learned uh, from reading reviews, and uh, I won't go on and on and on, but I'll t I can tell you that I read reviews of my work where I felt like was the guy hiding in my closet because he saw the thing that I did that was cheating, you know? Um, <laughs> I remember doing that ESD marathon in 2006, and I wrote a one act, and I was like, all right, it's pretty good, you know? <laughs> and then and I was in series C, and then I read the reviews of series A, and the critics reviewed these little playlets within an inch of their lives. And I was like, I gotta go back and work on this play. <laughs> and I made it better. Um, so uh, I just, uh, I don't wanna go on, but, uh, I really, it's a huge deal. You know, I, I, I met Mr. John Simon today for the first time, and I told him, again, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna make a uh, joke about John Simon. What I told him was like, you're not a fan of my work, but I've always been a fan of, of your work, because when I was a kid, you know, I wasn't really interested in theater, but like when I'm in the doctor's office, I would read John Simon's reviews just because the guy's a, a great writer. Not always, for benevolent ends. <laughs> and he's, you know, he's gonna outlive us all, so he can handle that. <laughs> but, but he's a great writer, and you, and you learn from great writers. And I'm, I'm, I'm honored, and, uh, and, uh, and, and I feel really good, because I, I, I feel his recognition, but I also feel like most, like some of you, which is, I'm not that good, and, and I'm gonna keep trying to get better. Um, and so it's a real honor, and and, uh, and the cast, uh, like I said, it's my family, and everybody in there is spectacular. And I'm so especially appreciative of uh, how the, how you reviewed them. 
um, Liza Clones Zayas, uh, one of the best actors in New York for the last 20 years. It's really. <laughs> Are his first off Broadway play, and he got a lot of shine, and he deserved it. And I know McKinley Henderson is not here today. He was hanging out with us last night. He had to go back to Buffalo. But um, I think I think everyone, one thing everyone in this room can agree on is uh, I think we all think he is great, and I'm really glad he's had a chance to get his due. In conclusion, thank you, Bobby. I got to say one thing about Bobby. He's a great actor, and you know, he's kind of like, you know, he's a handsome guy, so he kind of, you know, he's like the perfect guy, and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but what I want to just say is that, honestly, as long as he's here, it, he's a really good friend. And, and the reason I say that is uh, he's one of the few people, I have a lot of friends who, uh, I feel like he understands me, but also has the capacity to accept you as you are. Um, and that means a lot to me because I'm imperfect and uh, I never feel judged by you. Thank you. Do another play together. Thank you very much. Hamilton. Hamilton. Woo!